Hello, hello, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How are you? <laughs> Happy Monday. Happy Monday. Oh my God. Hello, hello. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for sharing. Thank you to all my replay viewers. I appreciate you, Juanita, for inviting your followers. I am on today because I just want to talk about the mindset. I'm going to take these headphones off. Hold on. Sorry. Because I just need to talk to you guys today. So, I was going to do Mindset Monday starting today. Then I'm like, ah, wait. You know, we have the discipleship class tonight. And, you know, all these excuses and things that I was thinking about. And so, I just found myself like this morning. I'm just going to be very transparent with you all. I was talking to my husband via text. <laughs> and I was just like venting, right? You know how we do. Venting about all these things that... I don't like and my job and just just things right so then I found myself like I'm like I'm complaining is it's it's going from a place of venting to being ungrateful because of the truth be told regardless of what I feel like I'm going through or or you know what I feel like my life is not like or where I should be or what I should have and all of this stuff at the end of the day is still complaining and I'm not saying that you can't talk about certain things in the truth you know what I'm saying or, or facts but we have to learn how to separate the facts from the truth right so the facts would be like I don't like my job or you know I'm tired of being here because I want to be you know be fully walking into my purpose and my assignment and be traveling all over the world the the fact may be um that I'm just not feeling it today right um today is Monday I'm just not feeling it the fact may be I had a rough weekend the fact may be I didn't have enough sleep so I'm tired I'm grouchy or whatever the case may be but we cannot allow the fact to deny the truth the truth says that, you know, God com promised us abundance, that, that God says that he wishes above all things that we may prosper and be in health, even as our soul prosper. The truth is, if we meditate on the word day in and day out and do according to all that is written therein, then we will make while we prosperous and then we shall have good success. The, the truth is that faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. The truth is that all things are working together for my good because I love God and I'm called according to his purpose. The truth is that God is allowing me to go through the process so that he can get me ready for the platform. So, so we have to be mindful because what happens is that when our mindset is not being shifted and I'm this is mindset Monday you guys I'm just is going to be like a power power time on Mondays that I'm going to come to you just for a few minutes just to talk to you about the mindset because the mind is so very powerful and if you guys were with me through the speak life series and I talked about speaking life and speaking to your mind and shifting your mind as a matter of fact our entire organization what we stand for within detour movement is all about your mindset changing renew your mind so that you can transform your life renew your mind so that you can transform your life renew your mind so that you can transform your life your relationships your businesses your circumstances your marriage your your money whatever the case may be but how many of you know that regardless of how much you say that you have to practice that as well even in my speak life series i told you and i tell myself constantly it's not about just speaking but it's about practicing because sometimes we can speak a thing but we don't practice the thing sometimes we can speak and we can say and we can confess and we can profess but we're not practicing it and practicing it would look like you know when your mind wants to uh, think on things that are negative and when you begin to speak on things that are negative or the fact that is in your life that you begin to speak the truth of the word the truth of God the truth about your situation according to the word of God regardless of what is going on so what I decided to personally do I know we're doing the Canaan woman training on Mondays I know we're going to go into our Proverbs 31 challenge and all of that stuff but personally what I decided to do is to do a 30 days of gratitude this is just myself I won't be on scope doing it or anything like that if you're on my marriage page I do have a flyer on that page posted because I want my wives to join in with me but I want to do 30 days of gratitude I want to begin to thank God every single day for what I have and I want to start with the thing that bothers me the most the thing that 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 irritates me the most the thing that I'm most annoyed about per se or the thing that I feel like is not changing in my life I want to begin to speak against those things and begin to say why I am thankful for those 
things. You know, you guys can join if you want to. It's not mandatory, but this is something that I need to do for me. And just begin to write down what I'm thankful for and not complain. So I want to go through 30 days of not complaining about anything. Because let me tell you something. When we complain and we grumble and we, and, and uh, you know, we just uh, talk about all the bad things that are all going on in our life, rather, rather they may be factual or not, then we tie God's hand. We prohibit God from doing uh, uh, doing things in our life. We prohibit the blessings of the Lord in our life. Yes, let me tell you something because let me tell you, God does not respond to our complaining. So I don't care how mad you are, how upset you are, how in a bad mood you are. And I had to tell myself that, like, God's like, I'm not, compl- I'm not responding to that crap. I'm not responding to you being upset about your job. I'm not responding to you being upset because your work is busy or you stressed out or whatever. It's not that God is not concerned. It's it's not that he is not considerate, but he does not respond to that. So for those of you that are out there and you feel like, you know, you've been complaining about whatever your marriage, your money, whatever it is in your life. And you feel like God is not moving quick enough. You feel like um, he's not he's not concerned about you or whatever the case may be. What I want to tell you is that God does not respond to that. He does not respond to you complaining. But what he does respond to, he responds to you being grateful. It responds to you being positive. So I want to pledge to you on today and every Monday that I come to you to begin to renew your mind. So whatever thing is in your life right now that may have you feeling a certain kind of way, whatever that may be, I want you to renew your mind and I want you to write down the scripture. Go ahead and post the scripture for those that are out um, on the scope today. You know, invite whoever you think needs to hear this message. Please do that because whenever you're talking about the mind, the mind is a very powerful weapon and the enemy can use that for negative just as well as it can be used for positive um oh my god oh my god so you you know whatever you think on is what you will become you know the, there's a scripture that says out of the abundance and i wrote it down out, out of the abundance of the heart the mouth speak it and i believe that's in luke luke 6 and 45 so whatever is in your heart whatever is in your mind that's what you begin to speak so what we have to do is learn to shift the way that we think and learn to shift the way that we feel. And in order for us to be able to do that, we have to go to the word of God. We have to speak the word of God. We have to speak the truth of God in our lives, regardless of what may be factual, regardless of what may be going on at that time. You know, I have a scripture that I often quote to my married woman and I talk about, well, not my married woman, that when I was in my Speak Life series and I talked about death and life, I believe it's Proverbs 18. Death and life is in the power of your tongue. So you your success, your abundance, uh, wherever that place that you're desiring to go to in God, whatever that place is that God has promised you, that's in your mouth. And, and whatever is in your mind is what's going to be in your mouth. So we have to learn to shift the way that we think. Philippians 2 and 5. Philippians 2 and 5. Let this mind, let this mind that's in you, let this mind that's in, in Jesus also be in you. So however Christ think, we have to begin to think. But the only way we will know how Christ thinks if we're abiding in him, if we are spending time with him, if we are getting to know him, you cannot, uh, you cannot emulate someone's personality or character. You cannot desire to be like anybody that you do not know. You cannot experience the same level of success as anyone that you may admire if you don't get to know who they are and if you don't practice the same things that they practice. Let's take Jesus, for example, when he was on the mountain and the devil came to him and the devil began to speak to him and to tell him to, um, um, curse, you know, curse his life and, 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 and to, to worship him and curse and, and curse this and curse that and to worship him. I don't know the scripture offhand because I have so much going on, going through in my mind right now. But you guys know the scripture when the enemy came to him to tempt him and things of that nature and, and to curse God and to curse this and to curse that. Jesus is like, nah, because man does not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. But just say for a second, if Jesus was, uh, would, would allow the enemy to blindside him because of the way that he was thinking. Because I'm sure he had thoughts going on in Mika in his mind at that at, at that time. But what if what if Jesus said, you know what, I'm listening to you, devil, and and I'm gonna you know I'm gonna fall off this cliff. I'm gonna do whatever because I'm I think that the angels are going to catch me. I I believe that. Uh, I believe that I am, you know, because I am the Messiah, this is not going to happen to me. But instead, Jesus cursed the enemy. He had to speak back to the enemy. And that's what happens in our life as well. We have so many things that go on in our mind, in our lives, and things of that nature. We have to begin to speak back to the enemy when he's telling us that... 
we should be ungrateful when he's telling us to be negative when he's telling us to look at all the bad things in our situation in our life in our marriages in our finances or whatever none of us have arrived none of us will ever get to a place of of, of arrival you know we will always struggle and deal with certain things but at the end of the day it's up to us to continue to renew our mind and i know because god gave me a ministry that deals with the mindset the enemy tries to come in and counteract every thought that the every every positive thought that's there you know what i'm saying so i am a work in progress so like I am not I, just because I wrote a book about it just because I speak about it I preach about it I teach about it I do want you to know that I struggle with that as well every day I have to make a decision to renew my mind to renew my thoughts and when I find myself venting as I said earlier when I find myself complaining when I find myself grumbling when I find myself in a negative place I have to say wait a minute hold up this is not the place that I need to be in because I need to constantly shift and renew my mind and even if you vent about something because it's okay to vent. I don't want you to feel like you can't ever talk about what's going on in your life. But when we vent, we have to say, but God is good. But God is merciful. But God is faithful. You know what I'm saying? We should always have a but in it and not complain about the thing so much to whereas we make the, 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 our issue, our problem, our current Back or whatever it's going on in our life glorifying over God we can't glorify the thing more than we're glorifying God we can't glorify our current situation more than we're glorifying glorifying God because then that thing has power that thing has control that thing then that now has rule over you and I guarantee you if you just sit right now and just think about all of the things that you're you can be grateful for think about all of the right things that are going on in your life I'm trying to tell you and I'm talking to me I'm ministering to myself you guys because, you know, Mondays are that sad day. Oh, Mondays are horrible. Monday is the beginning of the week. I hate Mondays. You know, that's the thing that we, you know, those of us that are in corporate America have listened to and even sometimes have spoken out of our life. So now we have to, um, we have to deprogram what we've spoken. We have to denounce words that we've spoken over our lives, over our careers, over our Mondays. Oh my God. For so long, we have to begin to denounce those things and retract those statements and rescind those statements that we've already sent forth in the atmosphere. So then we want wonder why our lives feel the way that they do. We wonder why our Mondays feel the way that we do. We wonder why our, our attitude is shifting. Because guess what, you all? We have we have spoken those things in the atmosphere, and those things are working. Let me tell you, negativity, negative words speak um, work the same as positive words. So if you're projecting negativity in the atmosphere, if you're projecting negati- negativity in your mindset, you know, that thing is going to manifest in the same way you're projecting positivity in the atmosphere projecting positivity and your mindset so we have to be very cognizant you guys and that's why i'm so so excited and and i'm so thankful that god was able to speak to me even in the midst of my complaining and venting and my husband was saying nothing like i'm venting to him and he's saying nothing in the text i'm like don't even say anything you know i don't even want you to fix anything i just need to go through this process and i need to figure out okay my child i need i need you to get together i need you to get it together because this is not the place that you need to be at and god is not moved by you by your little you know your little mood god is not moved by our moods you all so i just want to i want to let you know that he had to remind me like I love you daughter but I'm not moved by that I'm only but moved by when you are grateful because if the truth be told we look at our lives you know our lives are so much better than many people that we can look at right now no we may not have it all we may not be at the place we desire we may not our relationships may not be all that they can be but we thank God we have to thank God we have to thank God constantly for the minute and for the little things we have to shift our mind I wrote some notes guys but I just went on on a tangent I did write some stuff for you but I just had to learn. Okay, I had to. I had to say, okay, God, I'm going to learn to respond to positive. I'm not going to respond to negative, even if that's the way we feel. Because sometimes we don't have control of our feelings per se, but we have control over how we respond to our feelings. Does that make sense? You know, we're going to feel what we feel, but we don't always have to give into those feelings. You know what I mean? We don't always have to give in to those feelings. I'm learning every single day. I'm not going to give in to my feelings. I'm not going to give in just because I feel a certain kind of way. I'm not going to give in to that. I'm not, no feelings. I'm not responding to you. I'm not responding to that. 
You know what I'm saying? I'm not responding to that mood. I'm not responding to that thought. I choose to be positive. I choose to speak life. I choose to be grateful, even in the midst of everything that's going on. Two scriptures I want you guys to write down. Proverbs 4 and 23 talks about guard your heart because out of it becomes the issues of life. Out of it comes the issues of life. So we have to guard our heart. In order to guard our heart, what? We have to guard our minds. And then Luke 6 and 45, it talks about out of the mouth, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. There's a lot more that goes to that scripture. You can read it on your own time. But I want you to do that. And I'm going to give you three things, just three things, and I'll be all right. I told you I'll be quick. I will be quick because I just wanted to come on and just give you a push. And just to remind you to renew your mind. This is Mindset Monday. And I chose Monday. And I believe God chose Monday because he knows this is the day that a lot of people struggle with. A lot of people struggle with Mondays. I do too. I'm not exempt. I told you that before. We struggle with Mondays. We feel like, oh my God, this is the top of the week. But we should be saying, Lord, we thank you that it's Monday. Yes, I appreciate you. We thank you for the top of the week. We thank you that you allowed us to get you allowed us to get up on this morning, oh Lord God. And you allowed us to just get before your presence and just to say, Abba Father, on this morning. So we thank you for this Monday. We have to begin to position our mind and we have to begin to set the tone and the atmosphere of our day. So three things I want you to do so you can shift your mind from negativity to gratefulness we want to go from negativity and complaining and just venting even venting too much venting is complaining we want to go from that we want to shift from that and if you want to join me on this personal this is a personal 30 days of gratitude join me feel free and in me doing this this is what i'm doing you guys so i'm doing a 30 days of gratefulness i'm not going to complain for 30 days i sent um i get i chose two accountability partners for me and I told him, I said, listen, if you hear me complain about anything, send me this flyer. Because I created a flyer. It's on my marriage play page. So if you want to check it out, you can go on my marriage page. If you put Trail Ravenel, um, it's a, uh, and it says the Transformational Catalyst, I believe. You can go in there and just see the flyer. I posted it at 12 o'clock. And I told him, I said, look, if you hear me complain about anything, send me this flyer. Remind me why I am grateful. So in me doing that, I'm not complaining for 30 days. And I'm going to write down every single day what I'm grateful for. So if you want to join me, it's a personal journey. You're more than welcome to do that. But three things I want you to do when you find yourself in a period of complaining, I want you to recall, recall all the things that God has already done for you, that he is doing in your life. Those um, things that he's answering every single day. So just begin to recall, even if you have to go back last week, last month, last year, five years ago, begin to recall. Then number two, I want you to recount. Recount the promises. Recount the blessings of God. Begin to count them. Name them one by one. And I guarantee you that you will run out of space. I guarantee that you will run out of things to even say because God has done so much. And you will begin to begin, you will begin to become full because of the things that he has done. And then remember, remember God's great gratefulness. Remember God's mercy. Remember God's grace over your life, over your family. And I and I, I promise you, if you begin to do these things, recall, recount, and remember, you go from a place of being ungrateful. You will go from a place of complaining, of mumbling, of grumbling, of nagging, or whatever it is that you may do. Because I've done it. I've done it. You know what I'm saying? You go from that place and you begin to just thank God. So that's what you can do every single day, not just on Mondays, but every single day to go from a place of being um, ungrateful to go to a place of being grateful. So you begin to shift your mind from being negative to being positive, to begin to thank God for all the other things that he's done and all the things that he's going to do. And just remember that God does not respond to complaining. God does not respond to to complain, but he does respond to you being grateful. And abundance is produced by you being grateful. So the more you be grateful, the more you're thankful, the more you will see abundance in your life. But the more you are not grateful, the more you are unthankful, the more you are um, negative, you will see that your life is not abundant. And if you look at your life right, right now, and if your life is not in a place of abundance, then recall what you've been thinking about and recall what you've been speaking into your life for the last week, for the last year, five years, 10 years. Recall those things that you've spoken in the atmosphere and begin to retract and denounce those words and those thoughts and begin to replace them with positive words and positive thoughts. So that's all I have for you today. I won't be long. I just want to come on really quickly. Mindset Mondays, Mindset Mondays. So if I'm on on Mondays, it'll be 12 noon. I'll come to you really quickly and just to give you something to remember to shift your mind. And our foundational scripture is Romans 12, 1 and 2. 
I beseech you, therefore, brothers, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. But be ye not be ye conformed to the patterns of this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, by the renewing of your mind. And I know I didn't introduce myself. I'm Trail Ravenel. <laughs> For those that don't know who I am, I'm one of the founders of Detour Movement. Where we all, where we believe that if you renew your mind, you transform your life. We believe that because that's what the Word of God tells us. And I, that's what I just gave to you in Romans 12, verse 2. If you renew your mind, you transform your life. And God has given me a passion, not only for a mindset, um, a ministry of mindset transformation, but also transformation in marriages. And even with your transformation in your marriage, I know that that begins with transformation in your mind as well. Thank you. I thank God for you, Mika. I appreciate you so very much. So that's all I have. I appreciate you all. If you're not following me, please do so. I am on on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays. Um, we do have our discipleship training, which will be on Facebook Live on tonight at 8 p.m. You're more than welcome to join in that. That'll be 8 p.m. tonight and every Monday we do discipleship training. 5 a.m. Wednesdays. I pray for marriages. I pray for wives. There's words of wisdom with wives on Wednesdays at 5 a.m. So join me for prayer. And I'm normally not on more than on Mondays and Wednesdays in particular. More than 30 minutes on Saturdays. It may be a little bit longer because there's a little bit more teaching. But join me. Join me as we walk this journey together as wives, as women of God, as kingdom women, as builders, as leaders, as community leaders, as leaders of our, of our home. 5 a.m. Yes, Mika, 5 a.m. of our churches. Um, walk with me on this journey because one can chase a thousand and two can chase 10,000. So we're all walking together. We're all standing strong together. Just imagine the impact that we'll have here on the earth for the kingdom of God. So that is my time. I love you all so very much. I know I poured out to you on this morning. I pray that this has been a blessing to you. And if you need to share it with somebody, share it with somebody that you know needs to be blessed by this word on today. And I hope you all, and I know you all have, I'm not going to say I hope, I know you all will have an amazing rest of the day and an amazing rest of the week. Until next time, see you soon. Bye.